Hello everyone, welcome to the crazy project where I am mining an entire Minecraft world. We have been making our focus on here on the border and most of the dirt has been peeled off until one of the corners and the other corner, the last part of the border that we are missing is this stretch over here. So, what I need to do is to peel a little bit more what has been left from last episode, bring my uh, trustful axe, remove all of these trees and then try to reach uh, over here by peeling all of these areas. So, uh, yeah, goal, plan, let's do it! I don't know how this keep happening, but the, the, the aquifers keep lining up on this world and uh, that's quite an annoying thing, but anyway, we have done a, a very good job by removing the forest up until this point. Uh, there is still some patches of trees over here, but mostly actually uh, it's done. Our job it's more or less done in terms of the trees. Now, there is still all of this dirt to remove and all the dirt over there, but uh, anyway, I, I, I feel like we are really making good progress. Now, time to go, repair the tools very, very quickly, and uh, yeah, let's keep going. A very small patch of dirt. That is all that is between us and they have completely peeled off all of the dirt around what will be the border of the world. I need to go and repair my shovels because as you guys can see they took a beating but uh, meanwhile while I travel to the base to reply to one of your questions as usual. So the question was why did I decide to go with the overworld and not the nether or the end and uh, the answer is quite simple. So the end is pretty much the end is empty, is quite ugly, just end islands. I don't think it would be very interesting and the nether more or less for the same reasons but just because it is quite ugly as a dimension it's just a huge uh, dimension full of basically the same two or three blocks and uh, in the overworld there is a, a lot of diversity with the aquifers, the water, the lava pools, uh, yeah, there is diversity so I think it makes uh, a way more interesting uh, idea than any one of the other two dimensions so uh, yeah that's pretty much it. Now uh, time to very very quickly go repair the tools and uh, yeah let's keep pushing a little bit more.
this is how you mine the entire border. There you go. It's pretty ugly because I have basically only been peeling off the dirt. But actually we now are from one corner of the world to the other. And I will not invite you to take a look on how the world used to be. I want to actually invite you to a rare occurrence. Which is showing you this map where now you can actually see that we have the full of thousand by thousand border completely defined. Crazy and insane. I know, I know. Anyway, just giving you a really quick tour between the statistics. There we go. You guys can see that we are keep pumping up numbers and uh, overall I am pretty happy with uh, the overall results and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching guys I really hope that you are enjoying this crazy and insane project and uh, yeah I see you on the next one or I hope so <laughs>